Hey, everybody, welcome to AJS News. We're all back in the same place once hey, again. Hey, but first, an important word from our sponsors. Hey, guys, you know what time it is. It's Surfshark time, VPN time. Alex, tell us, why would you need a VPN? Hey, the biggest TV shows of the year are coming out right now, like Game of Thrones, House of the Dragon. And if you live in certain places in the world, you cannot watch it without a VPN. Like Germany. If, you, if you're in Germany, you need a VPN into HBO Max. Surfshark lets you do it. And, Joe, why did we choose Surfshark? You already know. The best part of this deal is unlimited devices. You get to share with your friends, with your family. We're friends, friends and time. family, guys. Get 83% off a two-year plan plus three months for free with our link down below. Go to surfshark.deals backslash angry Joe show and grab yourself a VPN to protect your data and get rid of geo-blocking. Thank you guys so much, and we hope you enjoy the video. Thank you to Surfshark. Click those links down below. It's important to protect your data, guys. Mm. Uh, Alex, tell us what the hell has been happening. Good to have you back. Mm. Uh, Joe, don't cough on Alex. Yeah, <laughs> try not to. It. No promises. <laughs> Uh, tell us uh, what the hell's been going on over the past. Oh, the shirts are in the store right now, guys. Just wanted to say because we got taken out. I uh, wasn't able to make some videos while there's to promote the shirt. So we've got, uh, let's see, our impressions of Rumbleverse. Uh, we've got a cool little plate up video where me, Alex, and Joe start a restaurant. Mm -hmm. So you get some, some videos built up Iron uh, Oath. Uh, so you'll see those coming out over the next few days as we uh, look to the next thing. So, uh, Alex. What the hell's been going on? All right, Netflix news. Uh, Resident Evil. You know that wonderful series with Lance uh, Reddick? Did you hear yeah. that? Uh, it, it, is, it is no more. Kaput. Yes. It is gone. Uh, you know, it's it's very odd to celebrate, uh, you know, a cancellation of a series. But, you know, uh, fuck that series. I'm tired of the Resident Evil franchise being shit on in that way. You know, no disrespect to Lance Lance. Lance is amazing. He was amazing in it. and he, uh, It's the only ever, sad part. It's the only sad part. Ever graceful. He was thanking people for the opportunity on his socials. So that guy's a badass. He seriously needs something in a future Resident Evil something. I don't know if he wants. Yeah. Um, I'd like to see more <coughs> of him. But I'm, I'm happy that Netflix came to their senses and now they can use that money in another new uh, season. Doing something else. Our, our Arcane, give us an additional season there. Give us a, an original season or put the money to better use mm -hmm. than the 17 seasons that the showrunner was expecting to do. He was like, I want this to last longer than Supernatural because uh, he was one of the producers or whatever of Supernatural which lasted a ridiculous amount of seasons. Well, that was different. This one, like yeah. high school drama, Resident Evil. Yeah. No, not Zero. a good mix. Not a good he, mix. Uh, he's not getting that and I can't help but in my mind go, <laughs> 17 seasons you got one <laughs> and then it was over and you blew it yeah, i really <laughs> wish i knew the numbers on it because uh, i know it did well initially and but then i saw it drop out you know to the lower end of the top 20 percent average audience score on rotten tomatoes Jeez. uh it Jeez. debuted in second place in, uh at 72.7 million hours viewed um, yeah, but I don't mean But it didn't shit. see a meaningful rise in week two. It was pretty much the same number as week two, and then it completely dropped off. Yeah. So that's that's what happened. Yeah. Now that Lance Reddick is free, he and Giancarlo Esposito should do like a buddy cop movie and cool. just have like the two, like yeah. those guys are at the top of the game right now. Yeah. Get, get them working together. That'd be great. Uh, we got more Netflix news. Umbrella Academy writing team is going to be handling the Horizon adaptation for Netflix. Uh, so the rise, you know, the people tell me Umbrella Academy is awesome. I have not yet seen it, so I guess that's good news. I finished season one. That was good. I liked it. Yeah. So this one's going to be we're going to do Horizons Zero Dawn first. Um, and, you know, the Guerrilla Games made like a pretty pretty cool world. There's a lot of stuff going on there, and we'll just have to see how how this team handles it. So that that could be something uh, good. And more Netflix news. Uh, the director of Hunger Games is signs on for the Bioshock movie. Uh, mm. So Francis Lawrence is going to direct Netflix's Bioshock movie. Uh, and uh, Logan writer Michael Green will ad uh, adapt the screenplay. Yeah, that's a good news that's there. Good. Yeah, that's one that I don't want it to be on Netflix. I want like yeah. This is something that I think... like. 
if you're gonna spend two hundred fifty million dollars on on Red Notice, can you please spend two hundred fifty million dollars on Bioshock and make it really that feel would be like really cool. that would be so amazing? Yeah, you don't even have to pay The Rock or Ryan Reynolds to you know be right. themselves. You Put can it just all like, into the world, in, into the world, and the budget. Oh, it'd be so amazing. Yeah, it would. Yeah. Uh, in in other news, if you uh, you know want to look for stuff on Netflix, September twenty seventh on Netflix is the date for Rob Zombie's Monsters. <laughs> so that'll be a wonderful watch, everyone. Watch our trailer reaction to the monsters if you don't know what we're talking about. It looks yeah. epically bad. Rob Zombie came out and said, I didn't spend that much money on it. Actually, we had a really low budget. It's like, it, it looks terrible. Thank God it, it went to definitely Netflix. Tell. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And so that I don't have to spend money on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got some Diablo Immortal news. Uh, they're changing the way that legendary crests uh, look because it's really confusing. And, what? The, and if you if you don't know what this is, when you go into an instance, you 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 pay money for these things to increase the amount of loot. Because remember, Blizzard has no soul, <clears throat> and yes. uh, they they fucking hate you. And what they're doing now is it was confusing for people because they didn't know which one they were using, which one they were getting, which one they're paying for. So now they're making them look hmm. more distinct from the average peasant version, uh, so that you know you get more. Okay. You, can, you can clearly tell. <laughs> uh, and they're acting like this is a really good thing. And ultimately, these systems are in place to confuse you. They're there to yeah. confuse you so you don't know how much money you're spending in these things. Mm-hmm. And if a game about loot drops is forcing you to pay money to increase loot drops, tell these companies to fuck off and stop giving them your money. Please, uh, please. So. God damn. Yeah. If you're w- one of our younger audiences is doing it, go, go back. To Fortnite, because I say younger because I mean that it's the poor kids. They grow up in the environment. It's like normal for them mm-hmm. to just you know engage in this kind of bullshit. So go go back to it's Fortnite or Roblox. Uh, you know your money is better spent at least there rather than this this garbage. Uh, and then to wrap up this week is all of the Gamescom announcements. There was a ton of stuff there, um, and so we'll just kind of go through all of the the big ones and. Um, so okay, okay, big big ga- games come. I actually didn't see a goddamn thing, so I am looking forward to what's what's up here. Yeah, so I mean, we got a Dead Island uh, trailer, you know. Oh, okay, for for the first Dead time. Island do- two. Yeah, oh, uh, it's a new trailer. Yeah. Uh, eight years after the fact. <clears throat> um, let's see, we got Sonic Frontiers. A new trailer reveals more story. It confirms okay. its release date, so that is gonna be coming out on November eighth. Uh, Gotham Knights gets a new release date. It's coming out a little bit earlier than, oh. than before. Uh, all right. Uh, we're getting Harley Quinn and Clayface as Are you major villains. Tell us the date or no? Uh, October twenty first instead of the the twenty fifth. Okay. So if you were really itching to play a game oh, that looks like it has, let me go to my document here. Fighting mechanics from that we ten have years to cover. ago. So you say uh, October what? 21st. 21st. Yeah, it was on the 25th. So they moved it up four days. And then you said November what? 8th is Sonic. Oh, that's the same date, Skull and Bones. And which God, is right, the day, right, before, day God before God of War. <laughs> Not a good idea. Yeah. Then Scorn and Gotham Knights come out at the same time. They're trying to hide Sonic Frontiers. <laughs> All right. Uh, we also got a new trailer for the showing off Slytherin, uh-huh. Dark Magic, and Zombies within Hogwarts Legacy. Oh, Are you super excited zombies. for Zombies? Oh, no. in the game? <laughs> Not Stupefy. another zombie game. Stupefy. Guys, we have a sweet-ass zombie game actually up on the channel right now. I'll put it up, I think, Sunday. Uh, Donald Trump, Obama, Clinton, and Lincoln take on the zombie horde uh, yes. uh, with Ray on Table Time. Go check that video out. It's a fun time. Uh, we got a new Callisto Protocol trailer, uh, and everyone's like, "This it looks incredibly gory and mm. crazy and action packed." December second, so, looking forward to that. Yeah, very excited for that. We got some up- updates from PlayStation. Uh, there's a new DualSense Edge controller mm. uh, revealed, uh, and there's also some PSVR news, right? Yeah, P- PlayStation VR now gets an early 2023 release window. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm not that excited for PlayStation VR 2. Uh, I'll tell you. Um, I know there are people that, that are, but I think, I don't know, it feels like a minority. I feel like we are now in an age of you go fucking wireless 
and you just upgrade the screen in the wireless, the battery life in the wireless, and the power in the wireless. That's where we need to be because VR needs to be untethered. Uh, you know, yeah, you and, need and to I fuck can, up your whole house, not just a fuck section. Fuck up your whole house, Flores. <laughs> My my entire you know extended family uses my Oculus Quest too, except for me. So I've got my cousins, I got my fucking little kids running around and shit, uh, using that. Uh, so and they don't want to go back to you know being tethered to to mm. a console. And in this case, obviously, there's a wire plugging right into the PlayStation uh, Five. So you we'll jerk see. too fast, you break your PlayStation, and there then it runs. Up. They got oh, yeah, new yeah. orb-like controllers, and those who have haptic feedback and adaptive triggers, just like the new DualSense does. It's a single cord setup, thankfully, instead of you know shit all over the place. And um, so all that is good. That you know you don't have to set up fifteen different fucking cameras in your house like you're in the Matrix uh, behind the scenes Matrix shit. Uh, but. I don't know. I'm not all that excited for it, and but who knows? It might come with some killer apps. So far, it's just that Horizon amusement park thing. I'm not really that interested. There is an evil. Yeah, it's not that I'm yeah. not excited. Like VR is cool. I just need really good games to go along with it before I start getting excited about yeah. it. Yeah, there's. Uh, it will release with 20 major first party and third party games. You're looking at Horizon, Resident Evil Village, No Man's Sky, Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners 2, and yeah, so that's that little bit. Mm. Uh, we got news from uh, Everstone Games. There's a new open world RPG uh, where the wind meets. Uh, it looks like Ghost of Tsushima in medieval China. So it's Ten oh, Kingdoms yeah. period, Southern Tang Dynasty. Yeah, I've seen uh, some footage on that. There's some. It, it, there's some really big announcements. This one actually looks really cool. Ghost of yeah. Tsushima was Ghost amazing. Ghost of Tsushima only Chinese. Yeah, in the like uh, in with that aesthetic, yeah. I like that. Yeah, looks really, really sweet. Uh, we the new Lies of P, you know, the Pinocchio game, mm. the Souls Pinocchio Souls like. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. We got we got more uh, new gameplay trailer, uh, and we get to see Geppetto uh, mm. and Jiminy Cricket. It just like that game just looks crazier and crazier. <laughs> and I'll play any Souls like, so I'm excited about that one. Okay. Uh, Subnautica devs announced Moonbreaker. It's a Warhammer like strategy game, so it's a miniatures oh, game. Oh shit. Um, and then there's model painting even to go along with it. So you've got what? all aspects of the hobby because I only really like the model painting aspect of most of these yeah. miniatures games. So it's like, all right, well, I don't that know if I want to do it digitally, but that, that seems kind of no, cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. The Moonbreaker, right? Moonbreaker, yeah. September 29th. Look yeah, at this that's shit. This access. looks cool. Okay. Uh, and hey, Gearbox says new Tales from the Borderlands officially announced, and I cannot tell you how unexcited I am for this shit. New Tales uh, of uh, the Borderlands. Yeah, you remember with tiny, the people who did Tiny Tina? You remember the that whole thing? Uh, uh, it's a, a little bit of letdown. Borderlands Four? No, it no. confirms it's launching on October twenty first. The story will follow three new characters: Anu, Octavio, and Fran. Fran. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. We also got High on Life, which is the Rick and Morty uh, first that person shooter. That looks sweet. Yeah. It I looks saw like a ridiculous on Twitter, they fun. got Knifey the Knife and then shooting kids. I'm like, all right, this this is crazy. <laughs> they they it's are just, a little over the top. Yeah. They are pushing that comedy nonstop, and I'm, I'm, I'm all ready for, for it. it. Sounds great. Yeah. Uh, it is crazy. <clears throat> uh, and then there's a uh, Woe Long. It's uh, it's a new Souls like. It's kind of like Neo ish. Um, souls like, souls like, souls like. It's, it's what's hot right now. It's mm. what everyone's mm. doing. Um, let's see. Kojima's getting a podcast. We already talked about the Dune mm. MMO that's coming out. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a new wrestling game, AEW Fight Forever. Uh, that yes. was hilarious. <laughs> we saw it on THQ. Yeah, people are are people they need to kind of polish that one up a bit. Yeah. yeah. So they're saying it plays like uh, WWF No Mercy, one of the classic ones that everyone kind of like, you know, really, really likes going back to the golden age of wrestling games. Okay. Um, we got more Warhammer uh, 40K Dark Tide. Yes, please. Uh, exclusive gameplay montage. I so sent an email over to, to you saw that. Oh, email. I saw it. They got back to us, too. Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah. So, uh, it, yeah, it was, Gamescom was actually pretty good. Cool. So. Um, let's see. Oh, and then finally, the dark pictures, the devil in me. Mm. Uh, we got some information. So it's the final installment of this little, this little anthology. Comes oh, out in that's November. Right. Uh, Y'all been playing that shit. Yeah. November eighteenth. Get uh, read. November eighteenth. So, someone already gifted it to me. Uh, I hate November them for 18th. it. We are so. 
Which yeah. one was it called? Devil the blade. Devil in Me. The Devil in Joe. I'm yeah. inside that, me. I, I'm going to drink the entire time and make OJ make all the decisions because he loves killing these people. <laughs> this is supposed to be the goriest uh, of them, good. which is good because nothing really ever happens in right. these fucking games. So at least if it's gory, then something cool will be happening. Yeah. Um, cool deaths. So yeah. get to kill everyone. And then this is this this one I want to make sure that you know about OJ. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Oh, fuck, I yeah. I saw that. It's becoming yes. a 3v7 multiplayer game. <laughs> I don't Have know. you all actually seen the movie? Fuck Many yeah. times. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a classic. If y'all haven't seen it, we recommend it. Maybe me, maybe Joe do another bad movie review or something around the time that comes out. So... Yeah, we should check it. We should check that game out. Definitely. Does it have a date? I don't think it does. Uh, it, er, it says early 2023, so it's oh, actually okay. sooner than you think. Okay. Um, yeah, it's three v seven asymmetric multiplayer. Humans facing off against uh, oh, you know bang. the the killer oh, clowns. Bang. That's they got the coolest little yeah. songs. Yeah, and it, the the, the, oh, the, the from the images and from the things, it looks it looks perfect. It looks exactly how, like it should. Okay. Um, let's see any other ones before we get to the last one. Um, Expanse is getting a storytelling one. Lords of the Following, uh, Lords of the Fallen, <coughs> um, and then the 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 big one mm. is we actually finally got information about Atomic Heart. So, yeah. Um, well, not. I mean, yes and no. I was expecting a date, and I was excited, and it's still just the goddamn December window. Like we already knew that. Yeah. So it's coming out, like confirming that it's coming out this year. Or so, they, I don't even think they put a window. It's just 2022. Still. Yeah. So it yeah. says it's still coming out this year. So because I thought for sure that it was going to get pushed back because we hadn't heard anything for so long. Yeah. But this newest announcement did say that it's coming yeah. out. Do uh, not do not put that shit in November. Do not put that shit in November. Your only chance is December after Calypso Protocol. So December 2nd and onward is where they need to plug that one in. Yeah. Uh, are they going to yeah, get November's steamrolled? Busy. Yeah. Yeah, it's just the end of the year. That's I mean, and that, there's so many things got pushed to early next year as well that you can't just push something to February like you used to. Yeah. So um but yeah, we've we got some new information on that and uh, some cool. new some new gameplay. So Okay. Gaming goodness. Yeah. Anything else you guys wanted to talk about this time? Hey, this is kind of a relatively all right news one. Yeah, mostly announcements. It's yeah. always nice when there's uh, just announcements. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, good games coming up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's probably some bad stories in the second news story, so come come check out uh, our part two, and we will see you guys. And we want to thank Surfshark, of yeah. course, our uh, sponsor that helps keep the lights on over here and keeps us going. Click the links down below if you need a VPN. We did the research, one of the better ones. And we'll see you on uh, part two. Bye, guys.